The holidays can be a really stressful time, or at least for me it is. You know, it's not stressful because there's gift giving and dinners, it's really not that. It's just all of the other things that happen around the holiday season that as soon as it's over, I just need to chill. And so I wanna share with you in this video the ways that I do that, how I kinda of de-stress after the holiday, after the excitement, after all of the family and the people that are in my home and the visitors and, and holiday goodies and all the things. You know what I'm talking about, right? So I'm gonna break it down for you how I kind of de-stress and just take a breath and get back to normal life. The very first thing I do right after Christmas is over is take down all the decorations from my house. The longer the decorations are up, I sort of feel cluttered and closed in, a little bit claustrophobic because my normal home decorations are very minimal, kind of classic, and when all the holiday stuff is up, I just, I, I feel smothered, honestly. And so a couple days after Christmas, I take down the Christmas tree. And then I started undoing all the decorations that were in my dining room, on the dining room table, the Christmas wreath, and all the little trinkets and things that were all over my house. I just have to take them down. I have to get back to simplicity and calmness and simpleness in my house. Honestly, the decorations that I do put up for this time of year, January and February, are very minimal, uh, probably a lot less than they should be, but I just need to declutter the decorations. And I just took it all down, it's all back in the attic, and now I have a very simple green wreath on the front door that will get me through until springtime. The second thing I do to de-stress, I don't film YouTube videos. I know that probably doesn't apply to a lot of you all, but filming videos during the holidays honestly causes me so much stress because I'm trying to enjoy the time with my family and our holiday events and Christmas dinners and New Year's Eve. The thought of filming those events and personal, you know, family times and personal moments gives me anxiety because when I'm filming, I'm not enjoying myself in the moment. And I don't get to see my daughters that often. I don't get together with family members and have big meals, you know, only a couple times a year. So I want to enjoy those moments so I don't film them. So I don't share them with you. But after the holidays, honestly, YouTube really slows down. So I find that if I just don't film during the holidays or for about a week after, you know, that's just fine with me. It takes the stress off of me, lessens the anxiety. And I did go live on YouTube on New Year's Eve. I hope you were there watching. And so that was a really easy thing for me to do without having to film and edit and, and have all the stress of putting out videos over the holidays. The next trick that I have to de-stress after the holidays is getting back to my normal eating routine. Oh my gosh, if you were like me over the holidays, I didn't want to deprive myself. I wanted to enjoy my favorite holiday foods. I had nuts and bolts, Christmas crack, rice, potatoes, like all the things, right? I just ate all the things, but my body just does not enjoy that. And I could tell after a couple days of eating Christmas crack every day in a row, my body was like, stop doing that. So my shopping cart is full of everything I'm not supposed to be eating, but the kids want pasta and they want cookies and they want muffins and they want chocolate bread and all the things. And so I'm just going off the rails this week and next week I'll be back to my, my low carb. I am sticking to my intermittent fasting, but uh, not counting carbs this week. So I always look forward after the holidays to getting back to normal eating. And it seems that my husband and I even eat very minimal, like smaller dinners than normal because we're all just so fat and full and stuffed and I just need my body to digest all of the holiday goodies and meals. And so I just try to get back to normal. Another thing I do is plan my meals. I am a planner. I like to go to the grocery once a week so I know the meals that I'm gonna cook and when I'm gonna cook them. But during the holidays, that's basically impossible. In my house, my daughters were here. My daughter's boyfriend was with her. There were four cats, two dogs, my husband and I, and lots of people coming and going. And so everything was always up in the air, always in motion. If I planned a meal, 
the plans changed. If I went to the grocery and I had things in the fridge for lunch, somebody wanted something different. You know, it's just, you, you know what it's like when you have guests, right? You're trying to accommodate all of these different people. Everybody has a different eating pattern, a different schedule, different likes and dislikes, and it just causes me stress trying to accommodate everybody. So just getting back to making a meal plan. I'm only suiting me and my husband. I know what I've got to do. I go to the grocery. I buy just for us and we just kind of plan it out and get back to normal life. And I find that is a great way to just simmer down after the holidays. But don't get me wrong. I've got a gift card in here to the Olive Garden and I will be using this. I'm so excited about it too. During the holidays, I always feel cooped up. Like it's bad weather where I live, it rained, it snowed, it was negative eight degrees here, it was crazy. We had tornado warnings. The dogs and I had to hide in the utility room one evening. The weather here has been horrible. We have not seen sunshine in weeks. And as soon as the holidays were over, for about 10 minutes one day, I looked up and the sun was shining and I threw on my clothes and a coat and I went on a walk. I just needed to get outside. And the minute I stepped outside and I was able to take a couple of deep breaths of just decently warm, fresh air, oh, I could just feel the stress melting away. And since then we've had two or three decent sunny days. And when I say decent, I mean 40 degrees. That did not stop me. I put on two sweatshirts, a winter coat, I had on jogging pants and I saddled up the dogs and we went on our walk. I just needed to be outside. It just makes me feel so much better. I don't feel cooped up. I can move. I can just get my walk on and get a little exercise and it just invigorates me and it makes me feel so good to get outside. So I take advantage of every single moment when it's not freezing cold and there is a tad bit of sunshine. Did you have a ton of people in your house over the holidays like I did? A ton. Like the front door was always opening and closing. And every time the front door opens, my dogs, Maxie and Pollux, bark. <coughs> It doesn't matter if they know who's coming and going. They can stand there and watch my daughter open the door and they flip out. They lose their minds and they bark. And just the constant barking and the movement and all of the cats that were here, keeping the cats upstairs separated from the dogs. We have a gate at the bottom of the stairs to keep Maxie and Pollux from going up. We have a gate at the top of the stairs to keep the cats from coming down. It's just... It's a lot, y'all. It's a lot. And I am so over having to step over the gates to go upstairs. My youngest daughter is heading back to college tomorrow. That means no more cats, no more gates. Everybody can just chill out around here and have their own space. The dogs can go upstairs, which I know they will do. The minute she leaves, they will sniff every inch of the upstairs because they have not been up there in over a month. And they're just going to have at it up there. They're going to have a ball. The next thing I do the minute everybody is gone is I have to clean my house. There's stuff everywhere. There's empty boxes, there's bows, there's wrapping paper, there's shoes, there's dirty socks, there's dishes on the countertop, there's empty cups, there's a loaf of bread somebody didn't put up, there's clothes that need to go in the washing machine. You get my drift, right? and I just need to clean the house. I have muddy paw prints on the floors from where Maxie and Pollux have run in the back door and they've been out in the mud. And then there's this room. This is the room where everybody just throws their things. All the things. And I'm gonna come in here and clean this up. Christmas trees, pillows, a cat perch, cat carriers, <laughs> Christmas signs, Christmas decorations and wrapping paper and you know, you know. This is my desk and I just tend to pile things everywhere. And I actually did pick this up, but I have my new calendar here for the year, a to-do list, lots and lots of paperwork and bills and office things. I just am gonna sit down tomorrow and clean this up. I need to organize, I need to put papers away, I need to get boxes out of the corner. There's just so much to do in here. 
these little bins are where things accumulate throughout the year and I need to clean all this out and get ready for 2023. So tomorrow, when I'm home alone, I will be deep cleaning everything. And that just makes me feel so much better, knowing that everything is back where it belongs, my house is clean, and I can just... And the last thing that I do to de-stress after the holidays, and the most important thing that I do, the number one thing on my list that I am so excited about, I go on vacation. Woo! Me! I am headed to the beach. I'm headed to Mexico. I'm headed to my happy place in Puerto Vallarta. Yes, I spend a very long, very relaxing, sun-filled, toes-in-the-sand beach vacation, and I just soak it in. I just sit in the sun and soak it in, and I can just feel the stress oozing out of my pores. That is how fantastic it is. While you're watching this video, I'm probably sitting on the beach at this very moment. So think of me, I'll have a margarita for you. And I hope this video gave you some great tips on how you can de-stress after the holidays too. See you in the next video.